Howdy brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic. I've got another review for you guys today. And today we're going to be taking a look at this little guy. Or, well, actually this big guy because this guy's a tank. Um, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and dive down into what I carried today. And along with the review knife, and then really it was actually a light carry day for me. I didn't really carry a lot of things. Um, no reason. I just... I grabbed the stuff I wanted and headed out and it really wasn't a lot but I uh, carried the review knife of course and I carried this guy and I'm really sorry guys I wanted to do an unboxing of this even though it's not super exciting but um, when I received it I was so excited that I just went ahead and opened it but I got this yesterday and this is something I've been wanting for a long long time but this is the Bark River Knives Aurora in CPM crew wear and uh, black canvas micarta because uh, micarta is absolutely my favorite um, handle material um, and I also carried my uh, new favorite pocket tool the CRKT Viva tool I love this guy it's a great little pocket tool and I carried the S1R baton 2 uh, for my flashlight so with that being said, I guess it's time for uh, what am I drinking? And today I am drinking a little bit of Southern Barrels Slippery Slope uh, Double India Pale Ale. And uh, this is some good stuff, but you got to be careful with it. It's it's uh, it'll sneak up on you. Um, and and as a testament to that, and I thought this was pretty humorous on the can. It actually says a big beer like this can be a slippery slope if not enjoyed responsibly. So uh, if you get some slippery slope, uh, enjoy it responsibly, guys. And also, uh, we're going to enjoy a bottle of the Elysian Space Dust IPA. And this is some really good stuff right here. And it's also uh, it's also a beast. you gotta, you got to be careful with that. And with all that being said, you're crooked. It's time to get down to the nitty gritty. The knife of the hour, the knife that we've all been waiting for, or at least the knife that I've been waiting for, the review knife. And today we are going to be reviewing the Freeman 451 BLF. Yes, that's right, BLF. Because this is the Freeman 451 button lock flipper folder. And uh, before we get into the uh, meat and taters of the review let's go ahead and get the boring stuff out of the way and get some measurements and uh, weight on this guy and we have a closed length and I'm getting and then you know I'm doing this with a tape measure it's not exact but I'm getting five and one sixteenth inches I'm not sure what the uh, website said but I'm getting five and one sixteenth inches for the uh, closed length. Uh, fully open length, I'm getting eight and three quarters. Uh, full blade length, uh, looks like three and three quarters inches. And that gives us a cutting edge of three and a half inches. Alrighty, so, uh, and I had to do a little bit of uh, investigating because I was not quite sure, even though I work with metal all day every day, I cannot determine if something is aluminum, especially when it's coated like this, if something is aluminum or titanium just by feeling it. And you can't really do the magnet test because neither are magnetic metals. So I messaged JR and I think he's at work because he didn't respond. Uh, so I had to go on the website and there's actually a one ounce difference between the aluminum and the titanium frame knives. So I weighed it, and this one is, in fact, the aluminum frame knife. Um, and you've got a black uh, G10 insert right here, which has got some uh, machining and texture on it. And uh, that's I think that's a really cool addition to the knife. I love knives when, uh, the I mean, the frames have the uh, inserts. I, I love inserts in a, in a knife frame. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, you got stainless steel hardware all the way around. A really cool lanyard that I'm assuming was done by JR, and he did a bang up job. That's a killer lanyard. I'm digging that skull. That's that's a really really uh, bad booty lanyard there, JR. Um, 
you've got a uh, weapons grade Cerakote uh, titanium pocket clip and it is right hand tip up only there is no ambidextrous 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 that you can't use it you can't put it in both pockets I mean you can but it'd be kind of awkward if you had it in your left pocket but anyway this it's right hand tip up only there's no tip down get your tail out drop kick bye say bye go on cat um so you've got only one option for uh the carrying of this knife um got some really cool machining here on the uh, reverse side of the frame um and it's riding on bearings and you have and i'm opening it like that for a reason because i'm just gonna let you guys get the enjoyment of of this thing here in a minute i'm, I'm not gonna it's like a little teaser uh you've got a uh, machine uh weapons grade uh cerakoted um blade and s35 bn blade steel um and it's got this really cool on the um, the main bevel here, it's got this really cool. I don't I don't know what you would call it. Like it's machined, but it's like kind of a scalloping uh, little texture here on the main bevel of the knife that runs down into the sharpening bevel. And I think that is just a really really uh, cool little addition to this guy. Like it really makes it pop. Um, and you can tell uh, just by looking at it, it's got Jr's edge on it. Um, you can tell it's been used, but JR definitely put uh, KME Edge on this because he is an absolute wizard when it comes to uh, the KME sharpening system. And that kind of leads me into a little bit of exciting news for the uh, Grateful Panic family. Well, I mean, it's, it's exciting for me. Um, I don't know if an unboxing of this would be exciting for you guys. If you'd like to see it, um, you know, comment in the comment section below. But I... Uh, I was finally able to order a KME sharpening system. So if you guys uh, would like to see um, an unboxing of that, let me know in the comments below. All right. So now let's get down to the, the real meat and taters, the real good stuff. Like th this is, uh, this is the, the cats behind right here. And uh, like I said, it's riding on bearings, but uh, I don't know, these bearings must have been machined by aliens or some advanced race because the action on this knife is unbelievable. The, the only word I could come up with to accurately describe this knife is stupid. This is the stupidest knife I have ever had in my hand. And I don't mean stupid in the bad way. I mean in the, the best way possible. This is an absolute amazing knife and uh let's go ahead and close this and let you guys get in on that this fun all right so you can open this any way you want to you can light switch it not letting you see that yet you can push button it you can flip it flick it with your thumb You can spidey flick it. You can gravity drop it. You can spidey drop it. I mean, any way you want to open this guy, and it is the most rapid deployment I have ever seen in my life. And and the the closing action, check this out. It doesn't matter what angle you're you're holding this guy at. Boop. I mean. Like I said, this knife is stupid. Um, and I really, I, I have drooled over these for probably close to a year. And I'm very, very grateful to uh, J.R. Rodriguez for putting one of these in my hands. Um, I looked on their website and I intended to buy one, but the uh and this is another thing go to their website and check it out because you can pretty much customize these guys any way you want um you can get it in aluminum frame titanium frame s35 vn blade d2 tool steel blade um you can get it the the frame in um several different colors you can get the insert in several different colors whatever combination you want 
but I'm guessing they, they only do like limited runs because every combination that I would want was it said either unavailable or sold out. And I know some people were commenting on there that there were other vendors that actually carried these. And, uh, I'm not, I can, I, I'm going to go look, um, I'm going to definitely drop, um, Freeman's, uh, link to Freeman's website down in the description, but I'm going to go look and, uh, check out some of the uh, vendors that might be carrying this and I'll drop their links down in the description also. Um, so with that being said, I mean, this knife def, Oh, you know what? We did not get it. Oh my goodness, guys. What in the world? What, what's, what's going on here? Um, we did not get a weight on it. We didn't. So, uh, grams wise, we're looking at 5.6 ounces with the lanyard. So that's, that's telling me right there that the lanyard is one tenth of an ounce because on the website it said the aluminum frame was 5.5 ounces in grams. We're looking at 160 grams. So, I mean, it's got a little bit of weight on it, but five and a half grams that's or ounces that's really not that big of a deal when it comes to a knife this sturdy and this well built and with the uh, quality of construction and materials that they used on it um five and a half ounces ain't bad at all uh so with that being said this knife definitely definitely gets the grateful panic seal of approval which as we all know is one and three quarters thumbs up as i hit the tripod um, so, uh, I thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all your support and I've got to give a huge, huge shout out to, uh, Patty over at Patty's potato, potato peelers, because, um, he gave me a shout. I mean, and, and he's a legend to me. I've been watching him, uh, since close to the beginning of his channel and I've, I mean, I've always loved uh, Patty's videos, and like I said, to me, he's a, a mentor and a legend. Um, you know, of course, he, his videos have influenced my style, and uh, that really, I mean, that was a huge, huge, uh, I don't know, it just really made me feel good that he gave me a shout out. So if you're not already subscribed, you better get your booties over there to uh, Patty's Potato Peelers. And, and subscribe to him and watch his videos because he has some great content. He's got some great videos. And, I mean, he is just so entertaining to watch. He, he's a great guy. Um, got a heart of gold. Uh, just, I mean, an absolute salt of the earth. Just down home, really good guy. And uh, I, I cannot express that enough. Definitely go over and check his channel out. Um, because, like I said, he is a legend. And uh, I absolutely love his channel. So again, thank you, uh, thank you, Patty. I appreciate the shout out. Shout out. Um, and with that being said, uh, that's pretty much the end of this video. And I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. So uh, anyway, you guys, I appreciate, like I said, your support, your comments. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers, um, the sus subscribers that have been here uh, from the beginning. I appreciate you all. And Friday, um, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise with this uh, tropical storm we have coming, I'm going to shoot and uh, upload the 100 subscriber uh, giveaway drawing. And hopefully, because... Uh, the tracking said that my Blade HQ package was supposed to get here on Friday. So if that gets here on Friday, we're going to do a uh, the drawing and an unboxing. And it should be exciting stuff. Um, and like I said, it, that's providing that we don't get our power knocked out with this storm coming through, which hopefully we won't. Uh, we didn't last time. You know, and that, was, that was really cool. So hopefully this time won't be uh, as bad either. But again, thank you guys, um, and this is Grateful Panic signing off. And remember, guys, stay alert, stay alive, and hey, how about do something nice for somebody today? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.